Okay, so this is where we're staying. Uh, not in the grass, <laughs> not, not in the plants, but um, actually here, so you can see. Really cool Hanok style um, place. These are individual rooms that you can r um, rent out. Um, yeah, so actually we're over here at this one where the door is open. So let me go ahead and show that to you. Yeah, so we spent the night here last night. As you can see, nice um, paper style doors. And you take off your shoes when you go inside. And it's this quaint little room. They give you some futon beds with pillows and blanket. Get a little TV and a fridge. Um, yeah, nice decoration, paper lamps. I like the ceiling, the roofing, these cool like wood beams. Really, really like rustic looking. We get an AC. Uh, oh yeah, and then there's like the small sitting table and some sitting mats. Very easy. This is our own bathroom. So there is a modern bathroom in here. Um, but it is a wet bath. So you can see you shower and then the water just goes on everything and it drains down there. So yeah, this was our, our little room for the night. It was awesome, it served us well. And now we are um, gonna head out. But let me show you some other things real quick. I wanna show you there's a public kitchen. And they have all these interesting things on the wall. Messages that other people wrote. But here there's a laundry machine, you do your own laundry, um, leave a message, you have water and tea, that's it. It's like a hostel, <laughs> but very, very beautiful. Someone singing. So that's it. And then, uh, oh, here's a guest book. So this place is called Dok Manje. And we can leave a message here in these things. Oh, wow, this is nice paper, actually. Mm -hmm. Feel that. It's like really, really nice quality paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and leave a message. Mm -hmm. This is a 600-year-old ginkgo tree here. You can see all the little ginkgo berries on there. 600 years old. Look at this place. Oh. I'm really happy there's a revival in the construction of Hanok. Mm. 
for the longest time it was just a trend of tearing them down. Like building new ones would be unheard of. Before. Yeah. Is this a guest house? Oh, it says guest room. Yes. I wanna, I wanna look at this. Oh, there's a little kitten, and it's playing with the butterflies. Hey, kitty. Meow. 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 She's like Momo. Skittish. Oh, when Momo first came to my place. Hey, oh, there's the mama, maybe. Hey, mama. This little you alley. Learn, you can learn how to do press flowers there. Cool. For me, it seems like it might be simple. Grab a flower, sit on it, it's pressed. <laughs> I like that you have to sit on it. Sit on it, blow dry it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love dried peppers. They're so pretty. Or the picture of drying peppers, the, the image. Yeah, in the sun. Dragonfly on my camera. Hello. That was awesome. Little poodle, little toy poodle, and his poop. Oh yeah. It's really hot outside. Uh, me and Marie were walking around, and we decided we need to uh, we needed to find somewhere to just kind of cool off and eat some bingsu. So here we have some nokcha bingsu. Green tea bingsu. <laughs> and it is very big and looks very awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and eat. Where, where, where do you want to start? Well, I'm gonna take some green tea. Yeah, yeah, me too. It. Green tea. Sure. Right. <laughs> and they say that they um, they make the red bean here. They make it themselves? Yeah, they make it themselves, so it should be pretty good. Oh, I'm just going to get a mix of everything. Mm. Yeah, so we got red bean, there's looks like milk ice, almonds, green tea ice cream. Mm. And I think there's some thok, some rice cake in here. <laughs> oh, it's very good. Very cold. It's because it's ice. Okay, and we are at a photography exhibit here at Sohak Art Center. This is called Scent of Ethiopia. It's a photo exhibition.
<laughs> that was awesome. I really know how to start these things. Um, we're here in a tea house that I came to with my mother a few years ago, and um, one thing that I really remember about this place was their samhata, which is a combination of about 20 different ingredients put together, and it makes it makes a tea, but it's actually medicine. So uh, there's all kinds of really helpful qualities to it. Um, it's very strong, so there are a lot of people who don't actually like it. So last time I came here, when I tried to order it, they cautioned me that maybe I might not like it. Of course, that made me want to try it even more. <laughs> and here we have omija, omija ta. So it's a berry, and Koreans said that, say that it has uh, five different tastes. And usually when they tell me that, they always they can't always name all five tastes. So I know there's bitter, sweet, sour, spicy, and then one salty. There you go. That's the five, five tastes that they say go into this uh, omija. What's this? Just a cracker? Just a traditional cracker, little bits of ghee in it, uh, seaweed, just to go along with the tea. Cool. So, do you want to try it? Let's drink it. Okay, so here's a tea, samata, that you actually have to drink with a spoon. Okay, we're ready? Yep. Are we going to do jan? Sure. Samata <laughs> jan. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, be careful. Steaming. People who like oriental medicine would really like this. It's actually pretty good. It's a kind of sweet. And bitter at the same time. I don't really taste bitterness. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's because you're so bitter on the inside that you can't even tell anymore. I have a bitter soul. <laughs> it's dark, just like this. So here's a chestnut. And uh, some jujube and peanuts. And sunflower seeds. See anything else in here? What is this? This is a peanut. Oh, that's a peanut. Okay. It doesn't look like a peanut. I don't know what kind of root. Uh, is this ginger, maybe? Maybe ginger. It could be ginger. Mm -hmm. And then there's a whole bunch of things that go into the actual broth. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. And then. So this is. I like it. It's hot, though, but it's, it's still pretty good. I want to taste that. I'm going to try this. This one is iced. It's a little bit better for the summer. Iced omija, the berry tea, right? Yeah. Omija ta. <laughs> Can you taste all five tastes? If you swish it around in your mouth, you should be able to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> this is very complex flavor. Mm -hmm. I always think that omija seems sort of similar to cranberry. Yeah. But a little bit more complex. It is like cran uh, cranberry, it's like sweet and bitter. I can kind of taste the salty too. Mm -hmm. I love That's it. Good. It's really my refreshing. favorite tea and fruit. Yeah, very refreshing. Sweaters on. It's fucking hot as shit. Find a place that has the grapefruit beer. I thought I thought there was more than just one. Is it just one? Um. Well, like right here. I could have sworn I saw one more place that had it. The number of people with selfie sticks is. Just really insane. It's like three out of five people have it. You want to try fried cheese?
I've never seen like gro grilled cheese or fried cheese or whatever. Like fried cheese on a stick in, in Korea. Yeah. Are we gonna eat it now? Uh, sure. Let's do it. Oh, you wanna make it as like Andrew for the beer? Or we can just try it now while we get beer and then get some other stuff. Try. You first. Oh shit. You're pushing it into my lip. <laughs> Alright, I'll just hold it still and you just eat it. <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> Alright, how is it? Tastes like cheese. Well, that couldn't be a bad thing. It's good. It's a good street snack. It's like eating the top of a pizza. That's like the best part. Okay, so we booked our tickets a little too late, and so we wouldn't be able to sit together. So we decided, hey, let's sit together in the cafe car. And so when we got here, uh, there was already like all these people here. There was no seats available. So we're not the only ones sitting on the floor. But actually, this is pretty fun. We have our beers. It's not cast this time. Yeah, it's not cast, but it's height. And then, uh, as you can see, other people are also sitting on the floor and just kind of enjoying the ride. You can see out the window. all the farmland on the way back to Seoul. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching guys. 